Hi guys, today I am an ancient Egyptian warrior. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about ancient Egyptian warriors and I've also created this makeup look inspired by one. The majority of ancient Egyptian warriors didn't have a choice but to become warriors, many were just farmers. Ancient Egypt didn't really see a need for an organised army. During the Old Kingdom, if a pharaoh needed men to fight, he would just call upon farmers to defend the country. However, the army would also consist of upper-class Egyptians who wanted to become warriors. They were given the opportunity to become officers. Other warriors were prisoners of war who were trained in various battle skills. When Egypt was conquered, Egyptians then knew they needed a strong army. The head of the Egyptian army was the pharaoh. During the New Kingdom, pharaohs would often lead the army into battle and Egypt conquered much of the surrounding lands. One of the most important weapons in the Egyptian army was the bow and arrow. They could shoot arrows over 600 feet. The foot soldiers or infantry were armed with spears, swords and axes. Chariots were also an important part of the Egyptian army. Two soldiers rode in a chariot. One would drive the chariot while the other would fight using a bow and arrow or a spear. Egyptian warriors would rarely wear helmets. The pharaohs often wore a special headgear made from linen and leather. Because of the hot climate, very little Egyptian body armour was worn. Egyptian foot soldiers wore white linen loincloths and occasionally had a triangular defence made from stiffened linen to protect the groin. Leather bands which were crossed over the chest were used to carry the shields. Later soldiers began wearing leather or cloth tunics with metal scale coverings. The pharaohs wore scaled armour decorated with precious stones. These stones were stronger than the metal used for arrow tips. Now I'll show you how I got this makeup look inspired by an Egyptian warrior. First I'm going to apply my True Match foundation from L'Oreal in beige. This is in a much darker shade than my natural skin tone. For bronzer I'm using the chocolate gold bronzer from Too Faced and I'm applying this along my cheekbones and jawline. For shadows I'm using this Slytherin one I got from Superdrug and I'm taking this like light bronze shade and I'm applying it over my lids. Now I'm taking this silver shade and I'm applying this just to the inner part of my crease and blending it down the sides of the top of my nose bridge. Now with the black shadow I'm creating quite a thick line along my upper lash line. I'm also going to use the black shadow on my brows. I want my brows to be very dark and really stand out on my face. Now I'm going to extend out my wing really far like the Egyptians and connect this line up with the ends of my brows. Taking the dark green shade, I'm going to apply this heavily along my lower lash line. To help make my eyes especially dark, I'm applying a black eye pen along my waterline. I'm also going to extend my liner out from my inner eyes. I'm now adding more of the bronze shade I used on my lids to the inner corners of my eyes as a highlight. Now to apply the mascara and then for lips I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Sandstorm. And that completes this Egyptian warrior look. If you want to see my more Cleopatra makeup look I did, I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.